Hey guys, Sometimes Crazy here, back with another video. Um, it's not necessarily a Kronka video this time, even though there will be Kronka footage in the background. Um, I was planning on releasing a video, I was planning on releasing a video this week um, about a Kronka game show that I've been hosting, but we really want to get that as perfect as possible, so that's not going to be released this week. It's probably going to be next week or the week after. Uh, but without further ado, I asked in my Discord, which if you're not part of, join in the description below. Uh, I asked in there, does anyone, you know, does anyone have any questions for a short Q&A? I realised that after my massive growth in subscribers, a lot of people don't know me, if you know what I mean. I, I feel like this is something that I really should have done a while ago, but I'm only just getting around to doing it. So I've got uh, about, I think I've got nine questions here um, that people have sent in on my Discord, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to answer them. Uh, I've split them into three categories. First category is YouTube, second category is Kronka, and the third category is just about me. Uh, just about like my life and stuff like that. So in the first category, there's two questions. The first one is, why did you start YouTube? So I started YouTube a very long time ago, and unfortunately, I made the stupid decision to delete my old videos instead of making them private. I really wish I hadn't done that. But I've been making stupid little videos since about 2013. Um, I only started doing Krunker videos, well, when I started to play Krunker. And even then, it was only, you know, posting every now and again, you know, some cool things. Um, then I started to get into, like, the more modding scene of Krunker and modding and stuff like that. And that really got me, you know, I, I realized that there was a bit of a, a corner in the market that hadn't really been taken advantage of. And so I made a few mod videos just because that was something that I really enjoyed doing. And I, at the time, not a lot of people were doing it. If you go back and look at my old, like, my old Krunker mod videos... Nothing is textured. Um, if you look at Vietnam War Pack and World War Two War uh, Model Pack, um, none of that is textured because back in the day we had to use um, Krunker Resource Swapper, but not like Krunker Res Resource Swapper we have now. It was actually a browser extension that used uh, Tampa Monkey to run, uh, which is why in some of my Chrome videos you've seen Tampa Monkey that's been uh, that's like. I think it's probably still active because it, it probably still is trying to replace models to an old version of Krunker. Um, because you could only make texture mods back then. You could never do um, models and you couldn't even apply textures to the models. Um, the second question I've got here is, what do you think about the future of the channel? So the future of the channel is a bit of a weird one because um, I've got a job. This is never going to be my job. This is always going to be a hobby. So the future of the channel is is essentially just I'm going to try and upload every Sunday or Monday, um, you know, interesting content that you guys enjoy, uh, you know, j just to get, you know, just to provide enjoyment for people. Um, like, I've never, I don't know, for example, I've made not empty promises, but I've like, for example, the CD-ROM video, um, I thought that had come out a lot better than it did. It didn't. It's probably not going to happen now because it really just wasn't entertaining and that's like the thing if i ask you guys if you want something and then it doesn't come out it's usually because it's not entertaining so i really think the future of the channel is just providing entertaining content not providing you know shit but on a like a more daily basis you know i don't want to provide just utter dog shit that you guys go oh well he was fun whilst he lasted and now he's just like this is just terrible um but yeah uh, that's really the future of the channel. So moving on to, you know, section two, which is the mods. Um, I've been asked, do I still make mods and uh, which and how many did I make? So I don't make that many mods. Well, if I do, it's not really a mod. It's usually just replacing stuff in Resource Swapper for myself. Like um, at the moment in the footage that you're seeing, if I'm using Sniper Rifle, I'm probably using my Intervention because uh, but it's been replaced with Camus, which is my favorite skin ever in the game which unfortunately was removed um just as i got it by the way like i had it for about a week and then it was removed um so i've replaced my intervention with it and made bits of it glow like i'll make mods like that but i've not made a mod since i think about december my last mod i made was the scoped smg mod or the handgun mod actually i did make the handgun mod um but usually if i make a mod it will be um a video accompanying it so, yeah, I've not really made many mods since then. And how many mods did I make? I think I've got three that are on the, like, actual, like, Kronka market that you guys can go in and download yourself. And the rest of them, I probably made, like, 15 or so public mods. If you look through my videos and see, like, mods that I made that couldn't be put in a mod file. Um, how did I discover Kronka? 
Um, that's a really interesting story. Uh, I discovered Kronka um, on the 11th of December, two, no, the 11th of November even, 2018. So if you go and look at when my account was created, you can see that's the day it was created. I discovered Kronka from a content creator called Blitz. Now, he's a content creator who made one video on Kronka. I'm pretty sure he makes videos on just loads of IO games and, and small, like, indie games and stuff like that, where he um, his style isn't, like, uh, Let's Plays or anything like that. It's like, I'll make one video on a game to give it sort of exposure, then next video will be a different game to give it exposure, and just stuff like that. Um, so I found it through him. Uh, he uploaded it on the 10th whilst I was asleep because he's American. I woke up on the 11th, saw the video, thought that looks pretty cool. Uh, me and Koala then made our account on the same day, and that's the story of that. And then these last two are what's my favourite thing and least thing, uh, well, least favourite thing about Krunker. Um, so I think my favourite thing has definitely got to be the community. Like I know that's probably overdone and oversaid and, and stuff like that, but not only the community that I've built, like my subscribers and things like that, but just everybody is so nice and helpful. And, you you know, I've been to quite a few random streamers. Um, they're all super nice. Anyone that, but most, most people that have played Krunker are super duper nice. Uh, but what's my least favorite thing about Krunker? Uh, that's probably also got to be the community. <laughs> like, I know it sounds weird, but as, as many good things as there are about the community, there's also some really fucking shitty things about the community, which I really don't like. Um, you know, sort of like underhanded, like hacks, and like, because obviously hacking is a community. It's not a good community, but it is a community nonetheless, and, uh, and scams and things like that. In fact, uh, I'd also probably go as far to say as I really, I don't really like cosmetics anymore. Like these new cosmetics that are coming out, I really... I don't really like, like, if, if I've ever done giveaways, you, uh, you'll you see, I've never given away anything that's season one usually, because season one's my favourite season. I really don't like the stuff that was released season two and season three, so I've, I generally don't tend to hang on to it if it's Relic or Below. Like, I've got a few, but not, not necessarily that much. Um... Uh, yeah, that's about it for that section. Um, so moving on then to uh, just about me. So one of them was what the so the first one of the three questions was what's my first name? My first name is James J A M E S. It's the same as forties first name forty sevens. Um, and they put can you share a bit about your life? I mean th that's a really broad question. Um, I'm nineteen. I am an apprentice at a bank in England. I uh, go to work nine to five. Uh, I, outside of, of my work, I collect lots of uh, CD-ROMs. I also collect uh, VHS tapes, uh, which I could go on a fucking like 40 minute rant about. So don't get me started on that. Um, but yeah, no, just a generally normal life, I guess. Um, I like to go to, I think I mentioned this before, I like, when I was, yeah, I mentioned this before in my community post about CD-ROMs, I like to go to charity shops or, or thrift stores, as they're called in America, and I don't know where they're called other places, maybe like second-hand stores or maybe charity shops, I'm not sure, but they're just stores that are set up where people give, you know, their old items they don't want anymore, and the shop will sell them at a fraction of the price they're meant to be sold at, uh, and rate, and all the money that, you know, is put, like all the money that's raised from selling them is like sent to the charity and, and stuff like that. Um, that's really fun for me. Um, and then my final question I have here is one that I was very much expecting and not really to my surprise. It was the first question asked. It's why are you crazy sometimes? Um, well, I there is a little bit of a story behind this name. I made this name because I've got a, a form of autism called Asperger's and also ADHD. When I'm off of my tablets, I am absolutely nutty. Like I, it's not actually fun for me to be off my tablet. I really hate being off my tablets. Um, like I'm just super hyperactive, and so when I when it came to making a uh, a new uh, a new Minecraft name, this is like I don't know, quite a few years ago now. My old Minecraft name, I'll put it on the screen. Um, right, <laughs> I was 13 when I made this name. It was X Samage. X and Sam Edge being James backwards, but swapping the A and the E. Like, it was really fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, that that's about it for these questions. 
Uh, if you want me to do another one of these, then just let me know and then send me questions. But thank you guys very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, the game show should be out soon-ish. Uh, I don't know when. But thank you very much. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.